Okay, so it's no secret that Apple Business Manager is a savvy tool for organisations. But, like with anything new or unfamiliar, the task of getting everything set up can seem somewhat daunting. And so, in this video, we are going to do a deep dive walkthrough to show you how to enrol for Apple Business Manager. And if you haven't seen the first video in our series, where we talk about what Apple Business Manager is, and what the platform has to offer, then please do go check it out above. And with that out the way, let's get started. To set up Apple Business Manager for your organisation, there are four main prerequisites or pieces of information you first must obtain and validate before you attempt to complete the enrolment application. These are 1. Apple Business Manager Region Availability 2. A Dun & Bradstreet number or otherwise known as a Dun's number 3. Details for your initial account administrator. And then finally, four, details for a verification contact who can sign the terms and conditions on behalf of your organization. Starting with region availability, the purpose of this video would mean nothing if Apple Business Manager isn't yet available in your country of operation. So, we first must validate this by heading to the Apple Support article called Availability of Apple Programs and Payment Methods for Education and Business. From here, Apple lists all regions and their respective countries who are eligible to use the Apple Business Manager service. Next, we must obtain a DUNS number for your organisation. A Dun & Bradstreet number, or otherwise known as a Dun's number for short, is a unique identifier assigned to a business entity, and is recognised as a worldwide standard. Apple is fairly strict when it comes to a Dun's number. The reason for this is, as part of their verification and review process, a cross-reference is performed with the Dun & Bradstreet database to validate the information you provided about your organisation name and address is factual. To obtain a DUNS number, head on over to the Dun & Bradstreet website, and again, this database operates worldwide, so I recommend you choose the correct website for your country. We can do this by clicking on the country flag icon in the top right hand corner. Then select your respective country, but do bear in mind however, for this walkthrough and video guide, we will be staying on the United Kingdom website. Along the navigation menu, we hover the cursor over Dunn's number and then select Dunn's number lookup. This will load a database search function where by entering your organisation name or company registration number will validate if your organisation has a unique number already assigned. If your organisation does return in the search list, Click Select. Fill in the name and the email address for whom the requested DUNS number should be emailed to. After the request has been submitted, an email similar to this will be received, which contains the DUNS number. Make sure to keep this in a safe place for later. Next, we want to establish a person who will be responsible for one, completing the enrolment application on behalf of your organisation, and two, initial setup of the Apple Business Manager portal. Do bear in mind, this person can be you or someone else. If someone else, ensure you obtain permission from that person first. Once that person has been identified, we then require their name, work email address, work phone number, and job title. An important point to note here, Apple stipulates the information provided for this person must be genuine, as in a legal human name. 
Something generic like IT administrator, for example, won't be accepted. And then finally, we need to establish a verification contact for your organization. Now, this person is usually a legal representative for your organization who has the authority to sign and bind to the terms and conditions for Apple Business Manager. Generally, this would be a CEO, CFO, CTO, or someone of similar authority. It's important to ensure you obtain permission from the person for whom you will be designating as a verification contact for Apple Business Manager enrollment application. It's also prudent that you validate their contact details are correct. Otherwise, you might run the risk of further delays in the verification process. I should mention before we continue, links to all the websites featured in this video are in the description below. Okay, so now that's all the prerequisites in place, let's go ahead and enrol for Apple Business Manager. Firstly then, in your browser, head on over to business.apple.com. Once there, click Enroll Now. Fill in your organization details, along with the DUNS number you received earlier. Select a time zone and language appropriate to your location. Scrolling down, you will see the entry fields for your initial administrator account and verification contact. Go ahead and fill in those details as I have done here. Once you are happy and any errors have been corrected, click continue. So now you will see a summary of your application. Before you click submit, scroll through and validate the information and contact details are correct just one last time. When you are happy, click submit. And if you are liking this video and you want to see more content like this, a subscribe would be massively appreciated. Awesome! You've now submitted your application for Apple Business Manager. As you can see from this progress tracker, Apple will now begin the process of researching your application. Such things like checking your DUNS number and your organization website are legal and legitimate. Now, although Apple quotes up to five days, often this number can fluctuate, so just sit tight and wait. Oh, and also do give your verification contact a heads up of the application being submitted. I'm sure that person won't want to be caught off guard with a phone call from Apple. Next, you will receive an email from Apple with the subject line, your enrollment is in review. From this email, you are able to track the status of your application if you so wish, by clicking on the button, check status now. Okay, so we have now fast forwarded a week. Your verification contact should now have been contacted by Apple and your application approved. During the verification call, your verification contact will have received an email from Apple with the subject line, thank you for verifying your organization. In this email, your verification contact is asked to confirm the initial account administrator or choose someone else should that person be unavailable. Once the contact details for the initial account administrator have been confirmed, Apple will send an email to them with the subject line, your enrollment has now been approved. Apple will then send a follow-up email to them with the subject line, welcome to Apple Business Manager. So, if you've made it this far, well give yourselves a pat on the back. From here on out, the rest of the enrollment process is pretty straightforward. All you need to do now is create a managed Apple ID and get yourselves logged in. Within the second email, go ahead and click Get Started. You will be taken to an Apple Business Manager webpage where you will be asked to fill out the contact details of the initial account administrator once again. After clicking Submit, you must now create a managed Apple ID. So go ahead and click the button named Create a Managed Apple ID. Just note, 
a normal consumer Apple ID cannot be used here because Apple Business Manager uses a separate dedicated IDP system which recognizes only managed Apple IDs. Next, you will be asked to agree to terms and conditions for each platform which is to be supported in Apple Business Manager. The option to download each agreement is available should your organization legal team want to review before acceptance is permitted. It's okay to back out at this stage until your legal team have given you permission to agree to the terms and conditions. Once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, next, you will see a brief loading screen which says setting up your organization. And then finally, we are in. From here, you can add further administrators, review devices, and purchase apps or books. Down here in the settings, we can carry out tasks like adding an MDM server, review purchases made through VPP, and much more. We have more awesome video guides planned around Apple Business Manager and its components. But then, we like your feedback, so do let us know what you want to see in the next video. And with that, don't forget to hit that notification icon to stay tuned for when we release more content. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.